Hello, I'm Gary Peterson and this is my avatar. 940. Remember this number, it comes up a lot in the following. I came to refer to it as the key number or the key constant in my calculations. When I first started working in TV some 40 years ago, part of my job included adding up the lengths of segments of a TV show to arrive at the total length for that TV program. This was to figure out how much time exactly would be available for commercials and or promos in a given hour of broadcasting. At the time, and even today I think, the standard way of adding a column of minutes and seconds was to convert all those numbers into seconds add up the seconds, then reconvert that number into minutes and seconds. How do you do that, by the way? Divide by 60 and you'll get the minutes and some fraction of a minute, which must be reconverted into seconds for the remainder. After doing this just a few times, I realized how inefficient it actually was. I had a calculator. It could add up columns of numbers easily. Why couldn't it add two columns of numbers at the same time? Here's how I did it. Type in the minutes. In this example, it's a 12. You can't add a colon, so instead type a zero. This zero performs two functions, which I'll get to momentarily. Then type in the seconds, which in this case is 16. Think of this number not as 12,016, but as 12 minutes and 16 seconds. The first function of the zero we added was to separate the minutes from the seconds visually. Now we start adding. Hit the plus key. Input the second number from the column in the same manner you did the first one. 14 minutes, zero, 38 seconds. Hit equals. Ta-da! The calculator magically added two columns of numbers simultaneously with the zero acting as the separator. We have 26 minutes and 54 seconds. But what happens if we go over 100 seconds in the seconds grouping, you ask? Watch, the very next number is going to do just that. Hit the plus key again. Type in eight minutes, zero, 58 seconds. Hit equal. We now have 34 minutes and, awkwardly, 112 seconds. Hey, wasn't it neat that the middle zero kept that nasty one from being added to the minutes? I told you there was another function for the zero. What we do now is to convert those 112 seconds into minutes and seconds. Thankfully, we have a calculator to help us do just that. Now is the time to recall the key constant I started off with. It is 940. We're going to add that 940 to our 34 minutes and 112 seconds to get, ta-da, 35 minutes and 52 seconds. Note that the zero keeps them separate again. What the 940 actually did was add one to the minutes group while simultaneously subtracting 60 from the seconds group. That one minute added equals 60 seconds we took away. Pretty nifty, huh? So here we can add a long column of minutes and seconds just by typing them in and hitting enter. Just remember to add 940 whenever that middle digit is anything but a zero. Also, at the end, you might have to add another 940 one more time if the seconds group happens to be higher than 60 but lower than 100. Now, I use this method for my entire career in television, not just for adding minutes and seconds, but also for adding seconds and frames. There are now 60 frames in a TV second, but originally there were 30. So all I needed to do was use the number 970 as the key constant rather than 940. That would add one to the seconds column and take away 30 from the frames column. You can readily see that this method is applicable to many situations when you need to add two columns of numbers that have a non-base 10 relationship to each other, such as pounds and ounces. 
When adding pounds and ounces using this method, the key constant is 1000 minus 16 or 984. Here are the key constants for some other common measurements such as feet and inches, fluid ounces to a gallon, etc. I hope this little calculator trick is helpful to you. If so, please hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks.